It doesn't look like we'll be seeing internet voting for federal elections anytime soon. While Elections Canada says it's always open to increasing access for voters, there's a reason this option hasn't been used to boost voter turnout. Global's Megan Craig has more. How convenient would it be if you could vote from the comfort of your own home at work or if you were out of the country. There's no technical reason that we can't do it today. While the benefits seem obvious. The number one thing that you hear from people with disabilities about access to voting is, um, we'd like to vote from home, um, and even better, we'd like to, uh, to vote on the internet. And could possibly reverse low voter turnout among the young. My suspicion is that we would uh, increase the participation of that very troubling group, uh, the, the 18 to 25 year olds, um, who are the least likely Likely to participate right now. Experts still aren't sure the traditional pencil and paper should be replaced with a more modern approach to voting. The issue is that it's fundamental to our democratic system that our ballot should be free, uh, free from influence, free from pressure of any kind, and that's why we go to the polls so that we can be observed uh, making our vote individually uh, without being pressured by anyone. I would be more concerned about um, maybe somebody hijacks your computer and votes for you and then you know you didn't even vote but there was actually a vote cast on your behalf. Voters can now register online but Elections Canada says it has no plans at this time to introduce internet voting. In looking at what other jurisdictions were, do, they were, were doing, there was still real concern around the security issues, the verifiability issues, and you know, ensuring that Internet voting uh, had the integrity that we expect of the Canadian system. Until some of those security and integrity issues are really thoroughly addressed, it's not something uh, we would uh, introduce or, or request uh, that Parliament allow us uh, to try a pilot project on. Megan Craig, Global News.